A case against a former CIA officer who's accused of drugging and sexually abusing unconscious women could soon collapse. A judge is set to hear arguments tomorrow. She's expected to decide whether federal agents botched the execution of a warrant that they used to search the defendant's phones. NBC News Justice and Intelligence correspondent Ken Delanian has more. This is just an incredible case on so many levels. Brian Jeffrey Raymond is a former CIA officer. He was a longtime spy for the United States, based in Mexico City, working out of the embassy there, living in government paid housing, spoke fluent Spanish. And back in 2020, uh, a woman ran screaming from his apartment naked and claimed that he had sexually assaulted her. And that began an investigation that ultimately led to a number of charges and accusations accusing Raymond of drugging and sexually abusing women for years, uh, mostly in Mexico City, some in the United States. And Raymond actually agreed to plead guilty and did plead guilty under a plea deal uh, to two counts of sexual abuse. But then his lawyers discovered that the way uh, law enforcement agents seized his iPhones and obtained a lot of the evidence in the case was potentially flawed, potentially unconstitutional. So they convinced a judge last year to let him withdraw his guilty plea, a very unusual circumstance. And now he's under indictment. He's in the D.C. jail. And this week, there is a hearing on whether most of the evidence in the case should be thrown out. And we're talking about nearly 600, what all sides agree, are very incriminating photos of Raymond with women in states of incapacitation, with Raymond performing sexual acts without their permission on these women. Uh, very, very incriminating photos seized first from his iPhone, then from his other devices. But what the defense says is the way the government seized his iPhones under a warrant was unconstitutional because they say that they went back to him three times uh, in an unauthorized manner. And they also compelled him to provide his PIN code to open the device uh, when the courts have held that you can't do that. You can't make someone provide a PIN code. That's considered uh, violating the Fifth Amendment provision against self-incrimination. So it's pretty complicated legal stuff. But the bottom line here is a judge will have to decide at a hearing, after a hearing on Thursday, whether this was a good search or not. And if she rules that this search was unconstitutional, it's possible that almost all the evidence in the case could be thrown out and this person could walk free, even though the judge has already concluded that he is, in her words, a sexual predator. So we'll have to see what happens, but a very, very important case could make new law on how uh, the courts deal with the seizure of iPhones and the security around uh, the data on those phones. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.